Archaeologists search out an ancient site. They dig up shards of pottery and hand tools and desiccated bone. And then with these fragments of civilization, they build the jigsaw puzzle that we call history. But a newly discovered piece of the puzzle just doesn't seem to fit. Thousands of carved rocks called the Ica stones suggest that eons ago, humankind had already mastered astronomy, medicine, and even aerodynamics. If the Ica stones are genuine, every history book in the world will have to be rewritten. I traveled to the small, bustling town of Ica in central Peru and was surprised to find that perhaps the greatest archaeological discovery of the 20th century was not being kept in a garden vault or an illustrious university, but in the private museum of Dr. Javier Cabrera. There, I found these carved stones, about 15,000 of them, that Dr. Cabrera claims were largely discovered in the nearby mountains in the mid-1960s. The Ica stones depict knowledge that ancient peoples are not supposed to possess. Here, a prehistoric astronomer studies a comet through a telescope. This is a view of the Earth, complete with all seven continents as seen from space. There are scenes of sophisticated medical procedures as performed by ancient surgeons. Dr. Cabrera, this is obviously a, this is a surgery here. What, what do we see here? Transplant of the brain? Of the brain. How old are these stones, which so accurately depict modern procedures like this heart transplant? It has been impossible to scientifically date them, but this carving of a man riding a pterodactyl seems to indicate a time well before humankind was known to walk on Earth. Paleontologists and anthropologists tell us that the dinosaurs disappeared 65 million years ago and that man appeared during the last million years. But the stones tell us something else. Energy of the human being. Dr. Cabrera, a physician and professor of biology and anthropology at the University of Ica, has been vilified and ridiculed by many of his more mainstream colleagues. They contend that the Ica stones must be fake because they contradict the known timeline of history. But adventurer and author David Childress believes that the Ica stones are not the only potential evidence that points to the existence of an advanced prehistoric culture in Peru. Archaeologists are starting to find out that civilizations in South America are incredibly old. Yearly, they keep pushing back history and civilization in South America. I think we're going to find that there are even older civilizations than those who have been discovered so far. Evidence of an advanced prehistoric civilization is supported by the legend of Viracocha, a mysterious stranger who was said to travel from town to town, spreading secret knowledge. The Peruvian story of Viracocha is that Viracocha landed in the area of Ica. Perhaps someone from Atlantis or some other lost civilization is, is is now a, a refugee from his own homeland because it's gone and he, he literally walks the earth going from town to town, city to city, and nation to nation teaching the civilized arts of his ancient country. If they are genuine, the Ica stones will provide scientific support for what is now only legend. But to date, not one single mainstream scientist has been willing to take any serious steps toward authenticating the stones. Dr. Cabrera's collection is so fantastic, so amazing, that official archaeologists just simply refuse to have a look at them. They, they're just impossible by, by normal historical standards. Yet what we have with Dr. Cabrera may be something that is so important in a historical way with Peru that we've got to look at it. And we've got to either authenticate once and for all these stones or disprove them. Why do you think some scientists have been so skeptical, so slow to accept the story of the stones? Are they threatened by them? Archaeologists have said these stones are falsifications. If there's one thing I regret, it is not having someone who seconds my opinion. I am simply an isolated investigator whom others attack by saying that these images are things. In reality, that I myself ordered engraved. Skepticism about the origin of the Ica stones began with the discovery itself. 
Newspaper accounts were vague, describing the stones as part of a secret hoard found at an undisclosed location. The police, suspecting grave robbing or antiquity smuggling, interrogated Basilio Mendoza, who was said to be selling similar stones to tourists. When questioned by police, Mendoza claimed that he had carved all 15,000 of the stones himself. He also sent a confession to the newspapers. Case closed, as far as archaeologists are concerned. But before you return a verdict of guilty, consider this. If Mendoza had stuck to his original story of finding the Ica stones at an ancient burial site, he would have been charged with a violation of the country's strict antiquities protection law, a crime punishable by a lengthy prison term. By claiming he had manufactured the stones himself, Basilio Mendoza was able to both keep out of jail and continue selling the stones. When the stones are put in their proper order, the message I read has not only to do with Peru and its territories, but with the world. And although this sounds like an exaggeration, the universe. Dr. Cabrera believes that his interpretation of the stones offers a challenging message about not only the past, but also the future. And that is why traditional scientists have rejected the legitimacy of the stones. We are living in apocalyptic times. Why? Because man has reversed the purpose of life and selfishness is causing him to lose the balance of the planetary ecosystem. All the wise men of the world know that we are headed towards a cataclysm. Author of Fingerprints of the Gods, Graham Hancock, has found this same apocalyptic message among the ruins of many other ancient civilizations. We have inherited a remarkable legacy of knowledge from what appears to be a highly sophisticated and advanced civilization that was destroyed in an enormous cataclysm. And what this legacy repeatedly and urgently warns us of is that the cataclysm will recur. These warnings may sound extreme, but there is scientific evidence that, through the millennia, major Earth changes have significantly altered our planet. What artifacts could survive this kind of global cataclysm? Not wood, not paper, but stone. Many researchers, like Graham Hancock, believe in the existence of an advanced civilization predating the Stone Age, but do not believe that the Ica stones are genuine. Others, like Dr. Javier Cabrera, adamantly believe in the legitimacy of the stones and insist that they are among the most important artifacts ever discovered. 